Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss periodic trend number 3 ionization energy. In previous two lectures we have discussed atomic size and valency. So today we are going to discuss ionization energy. So what do you mean by ionization energy? As the name indicates the energy required to convert any atom into ions. So what is ionization energy? It is the minimum amount of energy required to remove most loosely valence electron. from a gaseous atom. It is a minimum amount of energy <coughs> required to remove the most loosely held valence electron from a gaseous atom. That is important point again. Atom can lose or gain electrons when they are in a gaseous form. So the minimum amount of energy required to remove the most loosely held valence electron. Most loosely held means the attraction force must be minimum with the nucleus. So valence electron must have a minimum attraction force with the nucleus so that it can be easily excited to next energy shell or remove from a outermost shell. For example, we have an atom A. In initial state it will be present in solid state. So first we will convert it to gaseous state by giving heat of sublimation. <clears throat> so a solid item first we converted into gaseous state. So now to remove the most loosely held valence electron certainly it will require certain amount of uh, energy. That energy is called ionization energy. Now it will lose electron to become to become cation. This positively charged ion is called cation. So we can simply define ionization energy when an atom converts into cation by observing by requiring by requiring certain amount of energy or that energy must be minimum. So ionization ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove the most loosely held valence electron from a gaseous atom. You must write gaseous atom in the definition of ionization energy. That is the equational representation of ionization energy. This atom will require certain amount of energy and it will lose electron to become cation to form its cation. The required energy is called ionization energy. So when an gaseous atom converts into cation and the that energy required is called ionization energy. Ionization energy is required energy. So it will always be it will always be a positive energy. All elements require all atoms require energy to lose valence electrons and valence electrons can be easily removed from a Gaseous, at, gaseous atom because valence electron experience minimum attraction force with the nucleus right that is the equational representation when I get when this gaseous atom absorbs certain amount of energy it will lose its outermost electron outermost electron that will experience minimum attraction with the nucleus for example we have an atom a centralized part is called nucleus around this this is our first shell this is our second shell first shell contains two electrons for example uh, its outermost shell has uh, three electrons one two and uh, three so 
the innermost shell electrons will experience more attraction with the nucleus and there will be lesser distance as we have discussed force is inversely proportional to distance the distance between first shell and nucleus will be lower so force of attraction will be higher but the second shell will be slightly away from first from nucleus this is distance of a second shell this distance is higher for a second shell so if distance is higher radius is higher then force of attraction will be come so these three electrons will experience less attraction force as compared to innermost shell so these three electrons can be removed easily by one by one if first electron is removed <coughs> if this electron is removed it will require first ionization energy ie one the minimum energy required to remove the first electron from a outermost shell from a valence electron after removing first electron we can remove second electron also it will require again energy that energy will be ionization energy to after losing two electrons we can remove third electron also but that will require energy again and that will be ionization energy three so if we represent them in equation this is a ie1 to remove the energy required to remove one electron now if we require to remove second electron from this cation then this is a equation first this is second a positive gas plus ionization energy 2 now it will form a diprotic cation or divalent cation this is <coughs> ionization energy 2 and if we need to remove one more electron then this divalent cation will require further energy ie3 to form a trivalent cations so if outermost electron is removed the energy required is first ionization energy energy required to remove second electron is second ionization energy and energy required to remove third electron is called third ionization energy now we are going to compare the energy order for first ionization energy second ionization energy and third ionization energy so this is the definition and the concept of ionization energy the energy required to remove the most loosely balanced electrons So after losing one electron, if we remove first electron, it will form a positively charged cation. Initially it has five electrons, but if we remove first electron by giving first ionization energy, electrons remain will be four and protons will be five. Initially it has five electrons. But now first electron is removed so remaining electrons are 4 and protons are 5 means nuclear charge increases electron show negative charge proton shows positive charge. So if first electron is removed, removed then nuclear charge increase so these 5 protons will hold these 2 electrons more strongly. these five protons will held up these two remaining electrons in outermost shell more effectively more strongly so if we, now if we need to remove second electron this second electron experience more attraction with the 
nucleus due to increased nuclear charge it is experience it is more attracted to the nucleus due to increased nuclear charge so definitely it will require higher energy than first ionization energy so the energy required to remove this electron is ie to second ionization energy and definitely it will be higher than first ionization energy <coughs> right and why it is higher due to increased nuclear charge the remaining electrons in valence shell will experience more attraction with the nucleus nucleus will attract them strongly so second ionization energy is higher than that of first ionization energy now we, if we are going to remove third electron so after removing second electron remaining electrons are three total protons are five so in outermost electron in outermost shell there is a one electron left so this electron will be more strongly attracted to the nucleus five protons will attract now these three electrons more strongly but two electrons are present in innermost shell and one is present in outermost shell so this valence electron will be strongly attracted to the nucleus due to again increased nuclear charge here we can say protons are higher than of electrons means positive charge is higher so this increased nuclear charge will held valence electron more strongly so to remove this third electron definitely the energy required must be higher than of second ionization energy so if this electron is removed energy is required energy is ionization energy 3 so this must be higher than ionization energy 2 because the last electron left in the outer motion will experience more attraction and definitely it will require more energy to overcome the attraction force so that it can be removed from the valence shell so our trend is now so order of successive ionization energy <clears throat> so this is the order of successive ionization energy for any atom the energy required to remove the third electron is higher than to remove second electron and to and then compare to first electron first electron can be removed easily by giving some minimum amount of energy clear now how this ionization energy varies in a period and varies in a group first is a group we have group number one again that is our alkali metals if we move down the group what we will observe atomic number increases number of shells are atomic number increases number of shells are increasing as a result atomic size or atomic radius increases So this due to this increase in atomic size the valence electrons are quite away from the nucleus for a last atom last element if we compare the size cesium is a largest so its valence electron must be quite away from the nucleus they will experience minimum attraction with the nucleus if we draw if we draw a diagram for example this is lithium 2 1 this is sodium 2 8 1 and this is a potassium 
281 if we move from lithium to potassium we can see there is a gradual increase in size extra shells are there so valence electron is going to is going to be quite away from the nucleus if distance is increasing attraction force will be decreasing as we know force is inversely proportional to radius or distance if atomic radius or atomic size is expected to increase force of attraction expected to be decrease so valence electrons when we move up to cesium the valence electrons present in a case of a cesium atom they must be quite away from a nucleus they will experience a minimum repulsion minimum attraction they will experience a minimum attraction force so by giving a small amount of energy cesium will lose its electron so if atomic size is going to be increase in a group ionization energy going to be decrease so we can conclude it with the atomic size ionic ionization energy is inversely proportional to atomic size if in a group atomic size is going to be increased then ionization energy is going to be decreased so the first so the last element of first group will have the minimum ionization energy cesium has a largest size but it has largest size but minimum ionization energy the least <coughs> ionization energy is possessed by cesium in all the periodic table elements so conclusion is ionization energy is inversely proportional to atomic size if you know the atomic size trend then inversely trend is of ionization energy so due to increased atomic size in a group and due to increased number of shells in a group ionization energy is going to be decrease so the last element of first group will possess a minimum ionization energy that's why cesium is a highly electropositive it has a great tendency to show electropositive nature why because it has a minimum ionization energy right so this is the trend how ionization energy varies in a group it gradually decreases due to increase atomic size so now what we will observe in a period <coughs> If we take the second period, atomic number are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we know the trend of uh, atomic size in a period. Atomic size is going to be decreased due to increased nuclear charge. There is a gradual decrease in size. So ionization energy is inversely proportional to atomic size. If size is expecting to be decreased, then ionization energy will increase so in a period <coughs> ionization energy increases or we can say ionization energy increases so lithium will have least ionization energy and neon will have highest ionization energy in a second period and neon belongs to the group number 18 group number 18 they have fully filled electronic configuration so their ionization energy as usually expected to be higher noble gases have highest ionization energy 
एंड इफ वी कंपेयर नोबल गैसेस ग्रुप दिस इज ग्रुप नंबर एटीन हीलियम न्योन आर्गन क्रिप्टोन जिनोन एंड रेडोन सो हीलियम इज प्लेस्ड इन द राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ अ पीरियोडिक टेबल सो इट्स आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी इज हाइएस्ट इन ऑल द वन वन एट एलिमेंट्स ऑल द पीरियोडिक टेबल एलिमेंट्स एंड इफ यू कंपेयर आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी अमंग ग्रुप नंबर एटीन साइज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज सो हीलियम हैज द हाइएस्ट आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी इन ऑल द पीरियोडिक टेबल एलिमेंट्स सो हेयर वी हैव टू मेजर कंक्लूजन first conclusion least ionization energy is of cesium and highest ionization energy is of helium that's why we will never see the compound of helium helium will not lose its electrons because it its ionization energy is quite high and is not practically possible to remove the electron from helium and cesium will show the metallic character most why because it has a least ionization energy if it has least ionization energy it has a great tendency to form a it has a greatest tendency to form a cation cesium will form its cation most easily because its ionization energy is least so that is for complete ionization energy and again trend is in a group ionization energy decreases in a period ionization energy increases so if we just one more thing if we compare the periodic table alkali metals will have <coughs> least ionization energy and each period ends with noble gases they will have the highest ionization energy Al group number one will possess least ionization energy, and group number eighteen will possess highest ionization energy. So that's it for complete ionization energy. We will relate this ionization energy with the next periodic trend, that is metallic and non-metallic characters. I hope you would understand it. Thank you.